What's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Santi. If you're already here, kindly smash the like button. If you're new, kindly subscribe to the channel and support your boy as I push my way to 10,000 subscribers. In this video, I'm going to discuss the talking point from West Ham near Asna 6. That was an incredible performance from the team. But before I talk about the team um, overall performance, let's dive into the talking point from the game. Number one, there are new set piece kings in town. This season, in the beginning of the season, a lot of people were criticizing us. Would this be sustainable with the fact that we've, we were scoring a lot of goals from set piece and we were not scoring enough from open play? And fast forward to February 2024, second half of the season, we've scored 17 goals from set piece, most of any team in the English Premier League this season. And massive shout out to Nicolas Jova, the set piece coach. He's done an incredible job. And the fact that he could get that out of Declan Rice since he started taking our set piece, we've scored three goals from set piece in how many games? In three games. And, you know, a lot of people didn't even know he had that, that in his locker. His delivery from set piece has been incredible, nothing short of brilliance. And massive shout out and massive credit to Nicolas Jova for discovering that in his game. I can't really complain about, you know, scoring from set piece every other game. So far, it's getting us the points. I don't have any problem with it. Number two, respect Martin Odegaard. I hold my hands up and I say I apologize because in the beginning of the season, I was one of those people that believe it's not a volume creator. He cannot create loads of chances every game. I've said this over and over and over and over again. And if there's one thing is done, especially in, in recent months, is to prove a lot of us wrong he's been creating loads and loads and loads of chances this is someone that struggled for consistency in the beginning of the season but since december he's been nothing short of incredible and his numbers should be doing more than what he's doing right now if not because we've been wasteful in front of goal and his numbers in today's game speak for themselves he had 121 touches most of any players in the pitch most passes completed 107 over 113 passes completed most passes in the final third 48 most final third entries 12 most chances created seven most assists on the pitch 200 draws one three over three hundred take-ons completed he ran the show today i can't even lie that was an incredible performance and that's not the end of it martin odegaard is the first player to create 50 plus chances from open play in europe's top seven leagues this season once again i'm sorry for doubting your creativity ability i'm so sorry because i'm i've always said this profiling players is not one of my strongest suits but you know looking for looking at his numbers from previous seasons it doesn't really create a lot of chances like that but that aspect of his game has improved massively this season and i'm not even done with his numbers from this game according to scorecard martin odegaard is one of the best playmakers in europe and these stats prove it against west ham he creates he created seven chances and provided two assists becoming the first player in europe's top seven league to create 50 plus chances from open play like i said earlier but that's not the only stat Martin Odegaard is leading. The Arsenal captain also ranks first for successful passes into the penalty and true balls played across Europe's top seven divisions. The left foot is magic. He's, he's had uh, four goals this season, five assists, which should be much more higher if we add a, a goal scoring striker, a clinical finisher up front. Going into summer, that should be our number one priority. Get this guy a goal scoring striker and that's the end of it. I'm scared for the rest of the Premier League. Put some respect on his name. Number three, the clan rise. Wow, 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 wowzers. That was up there as one of the best performance of the season. It was literally everywhere. Had to assist scored a potential goal of the season in the game as well considering the fact that we lost two games against his former club before now and in the last game he gave he gave away a penalty had a, a very bad a very bad game for his standard in that particular game today it was fully on revenge mode if you look at his numbers in the first half of the game it was absolutely crazy what he did in that first half had the most touches in that half at 59 touches most accurate passes 46 over 50 passes completed most final third entry seven most crosses five 
most chances created for most assists two that was an incredible number that was an incredible performance for someone that is that's playing dm to create four chances from that position and add two assists from set piece that was an incredible performance from him today and if you look at his number in the entire game i mean first half and second half play 67 minutes add one goal two assists 0 0.8 expected assists 84 touches 93% pass accuracy, 4 key passes, completed 4 or 5 crosses, completed 2 or 4 long balls, created 2 big chances, 1 shot on target, 1-0 of his draws, lost possession 8 times. Incredible performance and you know, it was so good to see him taking off after 67 minutes to get enough rest. As Champions League is coming up on, what is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm not quite sure, but Champions League is coming up in a few days against Porto away. So yeah, an incredible performance from him. Um, I, I've run out of words to describe this guy. Literally, war under 100 million can get you. That's a prime example of what 100 million can get you. And what's an incredible performance against his former side? Couldn't have done it against a better team for me i've been waiting for these guys to be on board all season and it finally happened today yeah massive shout out to him great game from him today i hope he keeps it on i'm even confident he's gonna do that because this guy is just unbelievable number four bukasaka is generational there is no debate about it this guy is on over 200 appearance at the age of 22 and 100 goal contributions for Arsenal. Bukasaka has registered 100 goals and assists across all competition in his Arsenal career. Just a reminder that he's only 22 years old. How crazy is that? Also, Bukasaka is the youngest player to score 50 goals for Arsenal since Frank Stepleton in 1978. 22 years and 159 days old. This guy is just if ALN can keep on, you know, putting these kind of players out every now and then. I mean, Bukayasaka has literally saved us over 100 million in signing since 2020. It's just so unbelievable. He had an amazing game today. Scored two goals and the nerve to step up and take that penalty considering the fact that he missed the penalty in this in this same fixture last season. And that was the game that kick-started um, our downfall, you know, ended the season poorly that was the first game that started it off for me not the Anfield result that was that it was that game that started it off for me so i was expecting him to have nightmare and everything from taking that for ptsd but he stepped up he stepped up and took that penalty slotted it home massive massive mentality from him to do that today just like Declan Rice, he also played 67 minutes scored two goals 1.72 expected goals from 1.72 xg at zero assists expected assists of 0 0.47 three shots on target three shots off target two shots blocked completed two or four dribbles one one penalty himself missed one big chance 76 touches 92 percent pass accuracy three key passes completed two of four crosses completed two of two long balls created one big chance one five of eight grand draws and one one of two area draws it was an incredible performance from him today and since he's gotten rid of that bloody hair i mean it's been it's been incredible I, i'm not gonna lie don't ever go back there ayoyinka bukayo saka don't ever try that again it's been incredible ever since then um i'm not the type that believes in superstition but yeah in the last four games he's been back to his best and i hope to see this to the end of the season because if we're going to do something tangible this season this is this this and one this is one of the guys we look up to to deliver for us and him and martin has been doing this on consistent basis in recent weeks and so that's so good to see and number five talking point from this game is just the general team performance everybody was on top of their game today um david dreyer top of his game Gabriel Magaes is now the highest scoring defender in, uh, I think, in the Premier League since 2020. Saliba as well got on the score sheet. Incredible on the ball. One of his best games so far this year. In recent weeks, I've criticized how, how confident he is on the ball. How uh, att uh, attackers has been getting the balls off him. But today, it was on his best. And uh, Ben White as well had a, had a very good game contributed a little bit to the first goal of the ball 
you know, gave the keeper something to deal with. So he couldn't really get to the ball. And Kivio dealt with Kudus massively. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I saw him in the starting line. And I feel like, oh, this guy against Kudus is going to be a long day. But he's improved immensely for me in recent weeks. And who else? Declan Rice. I've said, I've said all I have to say about Declan Rice. Incredible. Odegaard as well. Massive, massive, massive improvement in his game. How he's been creating chances every other game is just wow out of this world kayavat didn't get an assist today didn't get a, didn't get on the score sheets either for this reason a lot of people are going to get on his back again but he had an incredible game a very good game for me he was everywhere and if i can remember really he was involved in two of our goals that i can remember right now on the spot he, he, he won and uh, he intercepted the pass that started attack from um, I think that was our third goal and it was involved in the fourth goal as well. So yeah, had a very good game today. Martinelli was lively throughout. Um, Trossard as well. The way Trossard, Martinelli and Saka were interchanging in that front three was just so beautiful to see. The fluidity he brings to 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 our attack is incredible. Saka as well had one of his best games so far this season. And everybody that came off the bench, yeah, I must mention one area came on. I love the fact that he wasn't trying to force it, wasn't desperate to put a, uh, to prove a point. Came in, did his thing, kept it simple, had a beautiful cameo. Elneny came on, was sharp. Cedric came on, was sharp as well. Everybody that came off the bench, literally everybody today contributed to the win. Had a very beautiful game. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the game. Who was your man of the match? Get involved in the comment section. And please smash the like button if you can share the video as well. Share it as far as possible. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will see you on the next one.